for that. Right, welcome to the wonderful Aurora Borex. Um, microphone is working, check, check, yep, it is good. Right, okay, so what's the situation here? Um, remind myself, it's been a little bit. So we did a bunch of attacking the D chaps and they um, did, we did quite well, but we had to pull them out because uh, we were running out of supply um and we couldn't get in there anything else there quick enough they're currently on board some ships on the troop transports whereabouts are they compared to that bit they are oh they're still orbiting the planet but they have been told to go back to earth now how many have we got on board uh transported we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and we can take four eight sixteen except these aren't full these are you can't see how full they are can you so maybe we pop before we go to earth we pop to and let's just point it out where it is that one and then load ground unit we can load some more of these mountain infantries anything so i think that's all out of date stuff anyway yeah i think it is i think it is um we click on ground units this is all the stuff alpha centuri the anti-personnel jeep the machine gunners now we know the machine there we go um yeah auto cannon jeep um yeah this is all old stuff so they could be garrison units or something so yeah okay we'll leave those and then we'll pop um back um yeah we'll pop back to earth and we will pick up the uh, uh and we'll get those offloaded um and then see how badly beat up they are. I think some of them are quite badly beat up. But um, as we can see, um, so like mountain machine gunners here, um, and then these are the individual units, and these are the like the groups. So our machine gunners have got. Um, 248 units of the Mark II machine gunners, which are these guys here. Now, if I want to make a new unit and make a Mark III machine gunner, do I then remove these and add the Mark III, and then it naturally updates them? And then what happens to the old ones? Or do the old... I guess we're just going to find out. So... Because we've had some new tech, we're now at 12.12 with the our armor and uh, attack as a base unit. For instance, if we look now, so, so machine gunners, which have got heavy crew serviced anti-personnel, and they are 15 with an armor of 20. If we did the same and went infantry, um, and it was those, uh, heavy crewed infantry who are good at mounting, they are now going to be, oh, that one, sorry, infantry, heavy crude machine, that's better, um, 24 with a penetration of 18, so 24, 18, as opposed to 20, 15, so we've, we've got better all round. So we're going to design and start building some new troops. So while they're on their way back, I think we'll start doing that. Now, looking at our aliens, we now know a lot more about them. We now know that this is a medium vehicle with an armor of 32. That is infantry with an armor of 12. Um, that's infantry with an armor of 12. That is a medium vehicle of an armor of 32 don't know about that one that one's 32 again medium vehicle don't know about that one infantry 12 don't know about that one don't know about that one so long and short of it if we want to attack 
vehicles, we must do 32 damage. If we want to attack infantry, we need to do 12 damage. Okay, so um, we'll write that down somewhere. Right, to to kill vehicle, we need to do 32. If we want to kill infantry, we need to do 12. Okay. Right, next thing, what are their attacking strengths? Um, penetration 30. Um, Anti-air, doesn't matter, we're not, we haven't got anything in the air. Anti-vehicle team, they're infantry, but they're 20. So, AA, and, uh, is AA anti-air tank? Or is AA, I mean, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know, but he's got one shot and one shot, and he's got one shot of 10 so that's not very much to scare us really anti-vehicle team 20 so to 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 defend um vehicle and infantry so to defend against vehicle we need to be stopping so far at a 30. <coughs> um yep uh, the battle wagon. See, the battle wagon does one shot at 60. Um, so we do 30 strokes, 60. Okay. Combat we we wagon is more of against infantry, so they do 15. So we need to make sure we beat can beat 15. Uh, or our armor is better than 15. Um, the warrior does 12.5. So again, 15 will solve that. Basically, if I have a team who have uh, infantry who are got above 15 armor they're warriors i think can't hurt them and if they can do more damage than 12 we can just mow them down i think and then when it comes to vehicles if we've got a vehicle that has got a defense of at least 30 then the only thing that will kill it is a 60. I mean, the anti-vehicle team gives us 20, so that's not very much of a problem. Um, 60 on that vehicle. Sorry, um, well, that vehicle, so that the combat HQ has actually got a, a, a um, one shot at 60 as well. Um, any of these others got there? Right, so yeah, the battle wagon, 60. But So they go after the the vehicles at 60, and they'll go after the people, the infantry, at 15. But if our troops, anti-tank, 30. It's strange, because our... Um, oh, is this coming to here? Oh, that's a lot of stuff happened, suddenly happened at once. If we look at our heavy tank, which we did lose some, that's got an armour of 60. Ah, so they so they did take out some of our anti tanks. They must have been doing that with their combat no, with their battle wagons. And one at a time. So let's have a look at our um attack summary that we had in the last battle. Let's see what we lost here. Our formation loss summary. Um some yeah, some troops. So we go over to a previous one. Lost summary troops. Previous one. Uh, defense ground loss. We lost right two tanks. We lost two tanks. Can we see what? Can we see what shot us with the, those two tanks? Um. Uh, element loss summary. Infantry. Um, Alpha Centuri hits taken, armors penetrated, lost summary gunners, machine gunners, tank element lost summary hits taken 12, three of them penetrated, and we lost two of those units, and that gave us 25 units remaining. Um, but we don't know attack versus. G U attack report versus the nope. Um, uh, machine 
gunners. Nope. Uh, attack. Heavy tank. So that's when we attacked their battle wagon. We hit twice, but we didn't. Uh, and penetrated once, but didn't destroy. Hits once, penetrated once, but didn't destroy events. The combat wagon. Don't know why that is. Um, although we have got on our where is it? So our heavy tank has got uh, anti-vehicle one shot penetration sixty and an auto cannon three shots pen penetration fifty. So why if they hit against these guys? We definitely hit. Even if we use the auto cannon, they should have hit. So no hits. That's fair and enough against the AA tank. But against the battle wagon, we hit twice and penetrated once. With a minimum of a penetration of 50. Oh no, that's the heavy tank mark 2. I haven't got the stats because I deleted the tank. Because that is the tank that we haven't got. Can I see the stats anywhere for them? I probably can't. Or can I? There you go. Um, oh, there we go. Penetration 40. So the penetration 40 would have done it. But I'm guessing we actually hit them with a the light anti-vehicle on them. Um, penetration 16. Um, that's probably because that's supposed to be against the the um, the um, uh, infantry um, or old light vehicle sort of thing. Um, so let's see the machine gunners mark two. What else did we have? Um, anti personnel jeeps. Penetration 16 should have done the job. Penetration 40 should have taken out the. Uh, so the anti-personnel jeep should have been taken out. Should be taking out um, their their um, their vehicles as well. So I'm not entirely sure how this all works. Now I know there is something called digging in and giving them a bit more. So this guy here, uh, he didn't hit a battle wagon. He didn't hit a combat wagon. He did hit their AA tank um, with 19 shots, two hits, two penetrated, and two were destroyed. Um, and that's against their um, AA tank, um, which I think we've discovered we decide is a medium vehicle with a 32 armor. So, yeah, he did take out their anti personnel jeep, did take out. Um, yeah, perhaps, perhaps, if I'm reading it right, but yeah, let me know in the comments if I'm actually getting any of this wrong, but that's what I think, if we, if we redo our, if we do redo our things to kill vehicles that have got, um, uh, um, penetration of over 32 and infantry over 12, so lots of shots over 12 is the target and as many shots as we can over 32. And defence, we must have our vehicles at 30, um, preferably 60, but probably 30. If, if it's over 60, it should be, it should be um, 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 un, 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 unkillable. I thought um, the tank um, has an armour of 60. Yeah, so they would have matched. So their shooting matched that, so a smidge more, and they would have been um, completely undefensible. Now I did have the tanks as the only units on the um, forward attack, romping through, mowing them down, but they didn't really have enough shots to do that. So maybe um, we will see what we can do. So let's redesign stuff. Um, Again, I don't know exactly how to do it, but we'll work it out. So I think we've got to start with this. So we're going to do infantry. Um, armour. Because our infantry 
has only got to beat 15 attack because their um, anti-vehicle stuff would be way above the 24 it had to be 30 um, it would be over 30 so there's no point having heavy powered infantry we might as well be a bit a little bit lighter although it's the same actually the same physical size but there's less less minerals used and I guess the cost of build time must be less the resupply is less annual maintenance is less so we can stick with that um, and what do we want to kill we want to kill 12 so anything 12 damage 12 is that enough do we need to go above 12 maybe well we can't because there is armor piercing that's what we're talking about improved personal weapons is 15 so that would do it wouldn't it that's slightly above how many shots do we get we get one we could give them heavy crude anti-personnel we could give them oh that's down to 12 again we could give them crew served anti-personnel and that would take out 12s but if they're dug in they might have a little bit more than 12 is 18 enough that might be so if we give them our inventory who will be mounting because that's what we're going for heavy crude served anti-personnel right it is a bit bigger but they do then kill things at 18 hold on let's double check we only do 12 damage right go back to the to the to the aliens see these are the guys here that we're after uh hit point value 10 yes that would work they are their infantry um hit point value 10 yes their infantry hit point value 10 yep these are vehicles yes so I believe that would here so so we're gonna call these um, infantry 41 this is the infantry 41 team do we have to put what they can do no they don't do infantry 41 that is a new fighting force to get these guys and it, that's what they're called the infantry 41 perfect so we can get loads of those uh, 20 tons a piece they are probably heavier than our previous people um, I mean they're, they're, they're pretty much machine gunners aren't they um, heavy crew personnel they're, they're really a replacement for the machine gunners and they are each unit heavy machine gun 20 and they were doing 20 armor 12 damage and these new guys are doing um, 18 armor so a bit less armor um, and 18 damage I forgot what were they doing 12 18 12 yes so these guys will kill more they're a little bit lighter but they're not lighter are they no they're the same weight aren't they yeah exactly the same weight but how many shots did they have six shots but only 12 penetrations so and eight damage eight damage that's not enough because it's they're 10 aren't they so they need to ro roll a critical if that's a thing do they roll critical I don't know so these are so yes yeah, so these units will now take those out so that's the infantry ticked off infantry versus infantry totally destroy them right can we do a light vehicle that has got some crew served um, heavy crew served because we decided that 18 is what we want damage 12 yes that's what we would want what does this give us over the infantry size now 32 same number of shots isn't it so their armor is 18 for 20 size just thinking how many units we can get there and they do 18 if we up that to anti-vehicle six shots 
that's the same, isn't it? Is there any point having light vehicles if our our troops are doing the same job? I don't think there is. I think it's more. We'll, we'll leave it as that. Do we upgrade it to a medium vehicle? Right. If we upgrade to a medium vehicle and do heavy crude, and then heavy crude anti personnel. Now this could be an option that gives us. 12 shots per unit at the given amount with 24 armor nope if we're gonna upgrade it we may as well because that means the troops can't get us but we want to be above so if we did that they're now 58 for 12 shots a turn 58 for 12 shots a turn right go back to this and they're 20 so that'd be 40 for 12 shots. Okay, so if we did medium vehicle, heavy crude, heavy crude, and left it as a light vehicle, it would be 58. That doesn't change. The, changing the armor doesn't change the size. Okay. Just the, the build cost. And obviously the time to build. Ah, I just think we pack it out of infantry. Am I wrong? I just think we pack it out of infantry. Okay, right. So to kill the infantry, we're just going to absolutely hammer it. Unless we went heavy vehicle. Um, yeah, no. It's no difference. See, the auto cannons only do three shots because these are going to be enough. So yeah, we we'll pack it, pack it up infantry. Right. So that's how you kill infantry. We're just going to absolutely spam the infantry versus the infantry. I think. Next, then we want to kill some vehicles. So we need to kill vehicles at 32. What have we got that will do an armor piercing of 32? We could do a medium anti vehicle, or we could do a medium auto cannon. I'm liking the medium auto cannon because you've got three shots. Yeah. Oh, did we have any infantry that can kill vehicles? No, no, no. So a light vehicle with, with, but they're vulnerable. They could get hit. But well, let's have a look. What would we do? Light vehicle. That's a matter. It's not vehicle. Um, medium auto cannon does three shots at 36 should do the job hold on check. damage 24 right check the aliens damage 24 against these vehicles hit point hit points 32 um, hit points 10 no medium vehicle hit points 32 right they need to hit 32 hit points at least yeah hit points 32 right hit points 32 uh, damage that's not enough so we've got to go to that one to take their vehicles out 48 48 as far as I can tell again correct me if I am wrong uh, right so that's what you'd have to do so a light vehicle would be 44 tons one shot a medium vehicle would be uh, 48, 48, medium bombardment. I don't think we're into the bombardment because that I couldn't get it working before. 48, um, uh, it's not even enough. A heavy, but no, light auto cannon. No, they're not, they're not doing the thing again. It's medium, so it'd be medium and medium because that's that's your job is to take out vehicles. So instead of a heavy tank, we would go medium. This is basically an anti-anti-vehicle, anti-tank. 
thing. Um, so that would be two shots. Two shots, 82. Um, and you do one shot at 44. I forgot how much was it? 82? Two shots at. I've got to put these on again. I should write this down every time because I just keep, keep going. So two shots. Two shots at 82 as opposed to the light vehicle, which would be one shot at 44. So it's better to have the medium vehicle on this case because it will give us slightly less well less units but not yeah if I doubled the number of shots um, to have the same number of shots from the light vehicle to the medium vehicle I would then uh, be more than 82 I would be at 88 instead of 82 so it's more efficient to have there right okay so what about a heavy vehicle do you have any more armor piercing than anybody else Again, it would be the 4848. Uh, what about your? Do you have an auto cannon? You do 3624. That wouldn't kill. That wouldn't kill. That wouldn't kill. The auto cannons are not are not powerful enough to kill the vehicles. Yet they do three shots. Now that's the only other thing is whether you do the light auto cannon to do um, on some of these vehicles. Um, 24 that would kill it would that would kill um, oh that's what we decided though it was three shots it's half the number of shots but weighs more than the but they got more armor but not enough to make a difference right okay so <laughs> back to medium vehicle um, uh, he, uh, back to heavy vehicle again it's just medium anti vehicle one shot it's got to be to kill these to kill these vehicles the advantage of this one you could put medium armor on there um, that's a good point so medium vehicle did I go with that I've forgotten 62 uh, okay now if I do that they're effectively invulnerable so I think this is yes yeah, so this would be the um, uh, anti anti tank 41 I think we keep it simple I think that might be it um, hold on, that needs to be medium anti-vehicle, 82, oh yeah we did have it, we did have it set for that, so that's invulnerable, that makes no difference, shouldn't be killed by anything apart from their anti-vehicle 60s, so this feels as if this is the one, anti-tank 41, hit it. I think. Right, we're we still going to do it in five thousands. I think so. So now we need to do infantry HQ headquarters um, for five thousand. Avoid combat, and it is the. 5k HQ if I H it should be HQ 5k shouldn't it um, 41 and they will be in powered light infantry uh, powered infantry armor as well as their people around them or do I hit or do I just up it a little bit give them a bit more defense because the HQs are important I think that's right so we create them um, HQ 5k done and then we want we had medium vehicle didn't we headquarters medium vehicle armor 5k HQ 5k vehicle avoid combat create that um, Oh, apparently you can actually do so if we do if we do a bit of, of, of give them a gun 
and they can take six shots and take out some some uh, troops while they're there. But you avoid combat, so what's the point? Size 62, give them the smallest, 55, and fit more actual fighting peoples in it. Yeah, that might be a better way of doing it. Um, or do you go light vehicle? 24, no, medium vehicle, because they're going to be charging around with us with them. All right, medium vehicle. Um, that's right, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. 5K, yep. Create. And then we want a big HQ. And what, 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 what thing do you do the big HQ in? Because you rear echelon them anyway, so you might as well... I don't know, do something like that. Um, and give them HQ for, and and we found it didn't do any harm to do over the top. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Yeah, we can fit like loads in. I mean, it's only two hundred and fifty size ton, so it's it's this is a hundred k HQ hundred k forty one. Avoid combat. I think that's hundred thousand sounds good because that means we've got like like what twenty units in there. Yes, but we want this to be f yes. So that's right. We do that. Yes, and then we light vehicle logistics, and then this is. Uh, Supply truck 41. Avoid combat. And they're 62. I don't think else you do. They're 500 points a pop. And you create that. Yeah. Excellent. Then formation templates. Now I don't know what you do here. This is this is the bit I don't know. So we're doubling the size of that because that just run out of supply real fast. Um, so do we rename that template? as the 100 k okay, should I be creating a new unit? I don't know I don't know 100k template um, uh, rename that uh, rename template 100k 100k right um, and then then what do we do um, Uh, supply trucks mark two. Okay. So in there we say we remove that. Oh no, hold on, we've got research them, haven't we? Right, okay, go to the research. Go to the research. Go to the ground units. And anti tank forty one instant because we still got stuff left. The hundred K forty one instant that the 5k 41 instant that the 5k vehicle instant it and the infantry 41 and the supply truck 41 right that I think is all the ground units researched is there a refresh button have I got to close it I've probably got to close it uh, ground units right template so I think now I remove this do I do that I remove that and then add add the hundred K. Or do I just add the hundred K? I mean supply trucks, it's true on the supply trucks to start with. So we remove these. Rename, change rank, no, 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 add units, no, edit mount. Zero? Does that then delete it? No. Delete. Temp. I don't think we want to delete template. Delete element. Yes. Right. And then we add supply trucks 41. Supply trucks 41. Ah, but first, before we do that, we do have to remove this one as well. Right. Add the 100k. 
add unit one. Now remove the um, 50k delete element. Yes. So the HQ 100k 41, and then we had enough supply trucks to go up to 5,000. So the supply trucks are 62. So 5,000 minus 2,500. Well, I could have done that. Divided by 62. That gives you 40 supply trucks. It's less than we had before. I know. I know. 40 supply trucks. Okay, so that's our new HQ. Now we need to then make a new supply truck. So, new supply truck. Supply. And that is 5,000 divided by the 62, which means we can do 80 supply trucks. So supply trucks, we will add 80. All right, so that's a new unit, supply trucks. Okay, so now the infantry used to have um, uh, mountain infantry mark two, which was this one here. What do I do with this one? Because the, there are units of infantry that have got some of those guys left. So, if I remove them from this template, and then will they be strengthened to the new stuff, or will they be not strengthened because they haven't got any of them in there? I don't know. We'll test it on this one and find out. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, to be fair? Right, do the HQ first. So, uh, delete element. Yes. Delete element. Do I want to delete the element? Can I copy this? No. And we want to replace it with infantry 41. Oh, they're much bigger, look. Much, much bigger. It's a bit scary. Um, but they're much more capable. Are they? Yes, because these guys can only do 10 damage, which is not enough. They need a lot more supply, though, don't they? Yeah. Well, they're firing a lot more bullets. Bigger bullets, too. Right, so we delete this element. I think so. Yeah. Well, I've done it now. Um, the 5k41, you need to add one of those. Add unit. Um, and we've now got 5,000 minus the 25 of that unit and divide that by the 20 of the infantry 41 so we can now add I think 248 very nearly 249 add that so that should give you a size of nearly 5,000 okay that looks that looks okay now we need to build some of these things and then see whether they will turn this infantry will be turned into or existing members of that infantry will be turned or will they just not do anything we will find out so there's our what's what we're going to do for now and then we go to the uh, ground unit training uh, they're nearly built Okay, that's good. So we need one of these because it's got our new uh, crate task, instant build. No, 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 crate task. Yes. So we'll have one of those, and we will have. We got one. So do maybe three of those, and a set of supply trucks. Two sets of supply trucks. So that's our current amount. Um, supply trucks will be done in June of 42, so uh, quite a way. Uh, the inventories will be done in May of 42. 
Um, so infantry is quicker to build than the supply trucks and the existing tank and heavy tank which we need to look up and find out whether they're a bit overkill which they might be now um, and then February February of 45 do what what HQs take quite a lot to build then maybe maybe we need a smaller HQ February of 45 how does that work then that's 45 back to the drawing board there I think we've got to go back to 50k haven't we I think so that's just bonkers that is um, delete that task right back to here uh, unit class design and what what was it did we give them trucks I think we gave them light vehicles didn't we like jeeps sort of thing um, and they're going to be headquarters and 50k and we might just have two of these units maybe we'll see whether that's what's causing us the problem perhaps um, so this is HQ 50k 41 yep avoid combat right create that back to the old research where's the research here it is uh, ground units uh, there it is, um, and we'll instant that again with our points, and then we'll see how long it takes to build one of those. Uh, ground unit training, we would like a... Maybe it'll come out. I did research it, didn't I? I think so. Um, ground unit training... Why can't I see it? Seriously, what have I done wrong here? Research, ground, combat, it's not there, completed. That was 70, that was 70k, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, I'm going to do two, I'm going to build two of them. There, are, yeah, done. Right. Close that, close that. Ah, hold on. Um, formation. Um, so the 50k... 41 50k 50 there isn't one yeah that's right because you're creating creating a new one aren't you so 50k hq 40 just 50k yeah it doesn't matter about, yeah 50k hq yeah um hq 50k right hq 50k should be there and that's going to comprise of a uh, HQ 50k. What does N mean? New? Uh, non combat? Non combat. Could be non combat, yep. Uh, you have one of those. And that's a five thousand minus your um, 262 yep divide that by your supply truck 41 which is 62 76 so we'll have 76 um, supply truck 41s so that should give you a 5k there we go right 5k lovely now Let's go to this guy here. Ground unit training. We would like a HQ 50k, please. Create that. July of 42. Well, it's about a year. Build cost of 229. I mean, it's not as much as those tanks were taking. Um, goodness me, those tank units better do the better do the job when we get round to it, eh? 
Um, because they're going to be well over the top. Let's have a look at one. Sorry, it's tank and heavy tank are the two units that we're talking about here. Um, which is heavy tank? I don't even think it's them. I think these are still still being built from the last time we were building them. So I think they're like two generations out of date. But if it is these ones, they do three shots at 50 and one shot at 60. So, yeah, they're probably unnecessary um, but we shall see um, and then I think we've got to train up some of the other units to replenish the broken units but we will get on so that's redesigning of our new ground units um, for the for the the 41 ground units have been redesigned now um, with our current tech and I don't think we're going to increase our ground unit tech anymore because I think this will get the job done and until we find some other aliens that is probably all we need to do last thing is though in the research you might saw that there's 21 research things available what I might do is I might hit up a bit of construction rate improvement um, in all honesty um, that's not much tech so we're pretty behind on that so that will help um, we've got still 16 labs available um, what shall we stick that in I don't think any of this is necessary at the moment uh, boarding combat that might be something troop transport pay standard uh, enables the troops and ground troops to provide boarding tubes that can launch infantry units against other ships. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So that's to do the boarding. Right, uh, logistics. Um, I wouldn't mind improving our cargo shuttles. Maybe that's not logistics then. Or am I already doing it? No. Nope got to be logistics isn't it improve car push car right we'll do some of them um, this is lodge we haven't got any 10% uh, person that will use up all of it so that will mean that we can move stuff and this is not stuff you have to improve in terms of adding to ships these shuttles get improved instantly so the idea would be as well we might putting some troops on to the nearby planet so let's, let's just create that project and get that out of the way so we might land some troops here on this friendly planet and then we'll start the assault and then I can bring in things like um, reinforcements I can bring in things like um, supply trucks and things like that um, but these guys are heading home we're going to see when they get home we will see how they're getting on the four drop the drop troop ships i don't think need them the transport troops did the job um i think i don't think there was any harm in getting them down um it will be slower getting them down than these drop ships uh to get that initial foothold so you might take some casualties early on when we're dropping the troops down um, when the um, the four drop ships dropped them super quick maybe I'll give some thought on to that but yeah that's the episode redesigning of our ground troops is this the third attempt this I think this is our third third redesign of the ground troops hopefully we now know a bit more what we're doing certainly know more about the enemy and uh, I believe we got a good chance so thanks for much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode bye bye